How to use reverse psychology with a man. He gives you just enough to hold on to and stay by his side but it's never enough. He clearly has a fear of commitment. I was one of those girls who thought that it just takes time, that what happens is beyond my control. I was so sure that was the right way to go but after all that has happened, I see I couldn't have been more wrong. To keep you from repeating my mistake, I will tell you where I went wrong and how I made it right the next time I got a chance. 1. Make sure you are choosing the right guy. When I wanted commitment from the first guy the first was with, I failed to realize that he was never the right guy for me, commitment or no commitment. So really think long and hard about what your man is bringing to the table and if he is really someone you want things to get serious with. Look for someone who respects you, someone you can trust, someone who is there for you and someone who makes hours spent together seem like minutes. That's really the short version but those are the basic things to build something real on. 2. Stop being too compliant. I was settling for the little things he gave me. Especially time. He was giving me just enough time so I wouldn't consider other options. He knew my limits well so he kept to those limits, never crossing them. I was too mild, too agreeable and too scared to lose him. I should have never been scared of losing somebody who wasn't afraid of losing me. When you show no fear, that's when things start going your way. 3. Make sure the investments are equal. Investing in a relationship shouldn't be one-sided, it should go both ways. I gave myself to him heart and soul and I was always the one giving a bit too much. That is the biggest problem most of us make. We give too much of everything and don't get anything in return. The thing with applying reverse psychology is that you have to be stronger than yourself. You have to mirror his investment. If you have given more from yourself one too many times then it's time for him to start returning what he has taken for granted. 4. Don't be too available. I always made time for him, no matter what I was up to at that moment. I wanted him to know that he was the most important person in my life but I was doing it the wrong way. It sends the message that you don't have a life other than him. And believe me, that's the worst message you want to send. So, if you already made plans with your friends, go and meet them. Never postpone anything because you want to be with him. Let him know that your time is as important as his, that you enjoy spending time with him but you also enjoy spending time with your friends. He won't be able to resist seeing you as soon as possible after that. 5. Time to start working on yourself for yourself. I neglected my own personal interests because of him and the worst part is that he didn't even have to ask me, it was all my own doing. By doing this, I killed the magic we had from the beginning. I was once again sending the message that I had no life besides him. That's really sad even now when I think of it. So I got smarter afterwards. I realized that the way to the heart of the man I am with is making my heart full. I have hobbies, volunteer jobs, a fitness routine. I am even doing better at my job. I am proud of myself and the man who is dating me now is proud of me too. Proud and amazed at everything I have to show for myself.